Hey you guys, Stephanie here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my everything shower routine. Now this is a full in-depth feminine hygiene video and I have so many new products to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right y'all, so first things first, I like to set the mood, set the vibes. So I'm gonna play some music and today I felt like listening to some 90s R&B. You can never go wrong with some 90s R&B classics. So I'm gonna be bumping to Aaliyah, Destiny's Child, Usher, you know, the classics. They hit each and every time. So moving on, and by the way, hey, <laughs> moving on, I'm going to do my oral care routine before I hop in the shower. So the first thing I like to do is floss. And one of my staple items is my water pick water flosser. I've literally had this water flosser for years. I've had it for like seven eight years back in the day when i had braces and it still works really really good now they have the plug-in version which is the one that i have and they also have the portable version which is cordless but for me personally i prefer the plug-in version better because the water reservoir is much bigger so you could add in a lot more water into it and you could also adjust the water pressure as well so depending on how abrasive or how light you want that water pressure to be you could adjust it so i like to set mines at about a four it's right in the middle and yeah i'm just gonna take that water pick and get up in there to remove all the gunk out and this works so much better y'all than traditional flossing it's just so much more convenient and easier to work with and they always recommend to floss before you actually brush your teeth so that's what i like to do so after I'm done flossing, I'm going to brush my teeth. And one of my favorite toothpastes to use is by the brand Centodyne. And this is their extra whitening version. And if any of you guys care to know, this is the toothbrush that I use. This is by the brand Oral-B. I'll leave the link to it down below. And I usually get both items from Target. And you guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me on this one. But for me personally... I just like to use a regular old toothbrush, okay? I've tried electric toothbrushes in the past and I just feel like they serve no purpose at all. Like that vibrating feature serves no purpose to me at all. So yeah, I just like to stick with a regular, regular toothbrush. So moving on, I'm now going to use this tongue gel paste. And you guys have heard me rave about this in my past hygiene videos. This is an absolute staple for me. I love to use this product because this always have my breath smelling on point, okay? So this is an item that I cannot skip in my oral hygiene routine. And lastly, I'm going to use my third breath or rinse. And this is hands down one of my favorite mouthwashes to use. It doesn't give you that stinging sensation that other mouthwashes have. And it also have my breath on point, okay? Once I do all of these steps together, even when I go to bed and I wake up the next morning, I don't have morning breath and it still smells somewhat pleasant. So I like to do all of these steps, especially at nighttime before I go to bed. So another thing that I like to do before I hop in the shower is to exfoliate my entire body. So I'm going to use my dry body brush and I got mine from the brand Osea. I actually had worked with them on a sponsored video a few months back and ever since then I have been using this dry body brush to exfoliate each and every time I hop in the shower. Now there are so many great benefits when it comes to dry body brushing, aside from exfoliating, it helps to detoxify your skin, it helps with better blood circulation, etc. And you could choose to do this either before you take a shower or after your shower. The choice is really up to you, but for me personally, I prefer to do this before I hop in the shower.
All right, y'all, so it is finally time for me to hop into the shower. And one of the first things that I got to point out to you guys is this eucalyptus and lavender leaf that I got from Amazon. And you guys, this simple item right here really elevated my shower experience, okay? It really gives that spa-like feeling. That natural aroma just instantly makes me feel so relaxed. So I would highly recommend this. And I'm also going to throw in the shower steamer that I got from Target. And I got it in the scent orange and grapefruit. And this is going to take things up a notch as well. For me, stepping into the shower is one of my favorite parts of my self-care routine. I feel like it's the perfect time for me to relax and to meditate. So what's the little things like these that I love to add into my shower to make me feel more zen? But anyway, you guys, I'm just running the water against my body before I apply any products and I like to have my water piping hot, okay? I don't like to have it cold or lukewarm. It needs to be hot. I also like to see when that steam is coming up from the shower and it's just another element that relaxes me and it's just so soothing to me. So the first item that I always like to start off with is my Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. And this is in the unscented version. And you guys already know how I feel about this product. This has been a all time staple item of mine and it is just not going anywhere. And that's on purr. And I'm also gonna grab my silicone body scrubber that I recently got off of Amazon. So when I came across this product, I was really curious to try it out. And I actually really like this body scrubber, you guys. First off, it has silicone bristles in it, which make it really gentle on the skin. So this is really ideal for people with sensitive skin, especially, because it gives you a nice gentle cleanse and it also provides a light exfoliation. So overall, I would recommend this body scrubber. And I still do use my exfoliating washcloth because baby, I still love a good exfoliation, but sometimes my skin will feel a little irritated if I use my exfoliating washcloth too often so because of that I do like to alternate between my silicone body scrubber and my exfoliating washcloth and to get my back area I am going to switch over to my exfoliating washcloth that I got from Amazon as well and I just feel like I'm able to wash my back better with the washcloth because it is wider and longer than the body scrubber so yeah, I'm just gonna use the washcloth to give my back a good scrub. So moving on, I'm going to next use my Wee St. Bart's scalp and body scrub. And y'all, a lot of people have been raving about this body scrub but honestly i just hopped on this bandwagon a few months ago and y'all this first off this body scrub just smells so good okay it is a summer vacation in a jar all right it just has this nice fresh clean scent to it and i also love the texture of this body scrub it's not too abrasive but it's not too delicate it's like the perfect consistency it's the perfect texture and y'all this body scrub is 10 out of 10. if you haven't tried this body scrub out yet you need to try this hands down. I love everything about this body scrub. So as y'all can see, I'm going to use a generous amount of this body scrub and just apply it all over my body. I'm also gonna make sure to take that body scrub and rub it in really good against my feet, especially my heels, because I don't know, over the past month or so, my heels has been feeling really, really rough. So, I have really been trying to make an effort to show my feet some more TLC and to focus more on my feet because that is one thing that is not cute. When you have rough and dry ass feet, that is just no bueno. So yeah, you guys, that is the one thing you do not want to do. You do not want to neglect your feet. And honestly, I have been guilty of doing that. The only time I would tend to my feet is honestly when I go to the nail salon. Other than that, I just briefly go over it in the shower, but I haven't really been caring for my feet. So that is one thing that I had to change in my shower routine.
All right, so now that I'm done exfoliating my entire body, I'm next gonna move on to shaving. And this is the razor that I like to use. This is the Venus three blade razor. And along with that, I also like to use this ASOS shaving cream. And this is in the scent Vanilla Bliss. And I'm first gonna use this to shave under my arms. And as y'all can see, you guys, my armpits are looking crazy. Uh, yeah, it's been a few weeks <laughs> since I shaved under my arms but we are going to take care of that right now so i don't really have a technique when it comes to shaving i guess you could say i like to shave upwards first i like to go against the hair follicles so i could really remove all that hair and then after that i shave in a downwards motion and that is pretty much all that i do and moving on i'm going to shave my legs of course and i always shave in a upward motion now, to be honest, I don't shave often. I only shave if a particular part of my body is gonna be exposed. So if I know I'm gonna be wearing a dress or a skirt, I'll make sure to shave my legs, of course. Or if I know my arms are gonna be out, I'll shave up under my arms. But other than that, if your girl ain't going nowhere, I'm not shaving. So sometimes I go weeks <laughs> without shaving. Don't judge me, but yeah i'm not the girl that just shaves for the heck of it if it's not being exposed i'm not shaving so moving on i'm now going to use my always cleanse feminine wash and y'all already know my honey pot feminine wash used to be my jam but when i recently saw this at target i decided to give this a try and surprisingly i really really like it it feels really delicate for down there so I just apply a good amount of it and as y'all can see I'm really getting in down there and you don't want to forget the back as well I use it to clean both my front and my back now moving on to my last shower item I'm going to top everything off with my L'Occitane shower oil and y'all this is another fave item of mine now I like to alternate between a body shower conditioner and a shower oil but today I decided to use my L'Occitane shower oil and y'all I love this product so much it just feels so good against my skin and as y'all can see it doesn't really have a strong lather to it it more so has has a milky texture and lather to it but it is honestly the perfect consistency because it leaves the body feeling so soft and so moisturized before I started using the shower oil sometimes my skin will feel really really dry when I step out the shower to the point where I would immediately apply a body oil to my skin but ever since I started to incorporate a shower oil into my routine I've noticed a significant difference my skin just feels so much more hydrated and moisturized before I step out the shower and might I add I also really like the smell of the shower oil as well it has a nice sweet almond oil smell to it which I could appreciate So that is all for my shower routine. Now it is time to move on to my body care routine and my skincare routine. So the first item I'm gonna start off with is my Topicals High Roller Ingrown Hair Serum. And I like to mainly focus this on my bikini area. That's where I mostly apply it. But you could apply it pretty much anywhere that you experience ingrown hairs. And next, I'm also gonna use this Post Shave Soothing Mist. And this is by the brand Tree Hut. And I got it in the scent Coconut Lime. And this is a new item that I started implementing into my body care routine. And I'm going to apply this all over the parts that I shave. So I applied it all over my legs. I also applied it under my underarms, which you're going to see later on throughout the video. And yeah, I really like this item, especially when I'm done shaving because it helps to relieve the skin and soothe the skin after you're done shaving to prevent ingrown hairs. And it also helps to relieve that itchy sensation that you sometimes get when you're done shaving. So yeah i have been loving this item as of recently so next i'm going to do a foot mask today and i decided to pick this one up by avino this is their repairing sika foot mask and y'all i already told you guys 
I'm really stepping up my foot care game, okay? I'm not playing. Summer is around the corner and I need my feet to be on point, okay? So when I saw this at Target, I had to grab it and I'm gonna let it sit on my feet for about 15 to 20 minutes or so and just let that serum really marinate on my feet and just work its magic so while that is doing its thing i'm going to next move on to my skincare so for today i was planning on just doing my regular nighttime skincare routine but i did notice that my skin was looking a little bit more dull than usual and i noticed that my hyperpigmentation was more visible so i decided that I'm going to dermaplane and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So this is my dermaplaning tool that I use. I got this razor from Amazon and this is honestly one of my favorite dermaplaning razors to use. And I also like to pair it with this Number Zen Purple Complex Cream. You guys already know how I feel about that cream. It's very soothing to the skin. So those two items combined works really well together. So I'm just applying a good amount of that cream onto my skin. So whenever you're dermaplaning, you always want to make sure to shave your face in a downwards motion. You don't want to ever shave in an upwards motion because you'll be going against the direction that your hair follicles grow in and that could eventually cause your skin to be irritated. It could cause ingrown hairs and you do not want those problems so we always want to make sure to shave downwards and i also don't go over the same section more than once because i do not want to irritate my skin so i usually tend to dermaplane my face about once a month this is not something that i do often so once a month so far has been the perfect time for me to dermaplane my face and y'all this is something that is essential for me in my skincare routine i don't really talk about this much but i naturally have a lot of hair on my face but it is very fine hair so this is the main reason why i like to dermaplane because when i do dermaplane my skin just instantly appears brighter my hyperpigmentation just seems less visible and just overall, it just gives my skin a nice glow to it. So when I'm shaving my face, y'all, I get in everywhere. In the nooks and crannies, I get on the cheeks of my face, my chin area, my upper lip. I also have a little unibrow, so I gotta make sure to get up in there as well. And I know you guys could kind of see, it may look like my skin is getting irritated, but that's just natural. Your skin will slightly turn a little red, but it goes away after a few moments. All right, y'all, so this is how much hair that came off of my face. And y'all, I was not kidding. I have a lot of facial hair, but as y'all can see afterwards, my skin just looks so much better. It looks a little brighter, it looks smoother. And yeah, it's looking good. It's looking real good. So once I'm done dermaplaning my face, I'm gonna next gently cleanse the skin. And I'm first gonna go in with my L'Occitane Immortal Cleansing Balm. So here's a close up shot of the cleansing balm. And I actually received this product in a PR box that they recently gave to me. And y'all, I really, really like this cleansing balm, especially when I'm done dermaplaning because it is just really delicate and gentle on the skin. Whenever you're done dermaplaning, you do not want to apply any harsh products on your skin because you do not want to further irritate your skin. So this cleansing balm was just the perfect item so I could gently cleanse my skin. And next I'm gonna follow up with their face cleansing cream and this is from the same Immortal collection. And me personally, I like to double cleanse. This is something that I have been doing for years now. If you guys have seen my skincare routine videos, I always double cleanse. And it just assures that I remove any hidden dirt or bacteria on my skin. And I'm also gonna follow up with my Foreo face cleansing device. This is a staple item for me in my skincare routine. I really love the silicone bristles that this thing has on it because it just really gives you a gentle cleanse as well. And most importantly, the bristles do not absorb any bacteria. I got my Foreo from Sephora and I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit pricey, but y'all, it is so worth it.
So next I'm gonna go in with my toner and this is the Super Glowing Essence by Numbers In. And I'm going to apply a generous amount of this toner onto my skin to further soothe my face. So next I'm making sure to add in that moisture back into my skin. So I'm gonna go in with my L'Occitane Immortal Face Serum. And this serum y'all, it is very hydrating to the skin. It is a lightweight antioxidant serum and it is jam packed with just hydration in it. And this is just the perfect item to apply on my skin, especially when I'm done dermaplaning. And it also gives my skin a nice glow as well without it feeling greasy. So this is like the perfect formulation, especially for oily to combination skin. And lastly, I'm gonna top everything off using my Immortal Divine Cream. And this is just another hydrating face moisturizer that I'm going to apply all over my skin so that I could lock in that moisture. And it also has retinol in it as well that's going to help to firm, even, and smooth out the skin. And I know you guys could already see that glow. My skin is looking so much better and it also feels really soothed and relieved. I'm also going to apply my eye cream. This is by The Glow Recipe. This is their Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. And as y'all can see, I used a good amount of this. I really dug a hole into this. And I really don't use too much product. A little bit goes a long way. So I just like to gently pat the product into my eyes. I don't like to use any rubbing motions, especially up under my eyes, because girl, you do not want to tug and pull at that skin up under your eyes. So you just wanna make sure to gently pat your eye cream in. And of course, we cannot forget about the lips. So I'm going to apply my lip balm by Laneige and this is in Berry. And y'all, this is like hands down one of my favorite lip balms to use. It just feels so good against the lips and it smells amazing. And it's gonna give you some soft, plush, kissable lips. All right, y'all, so that is all for my dermaplaning slash skincare routine. And now we are going to go back and remove that foot mask. So at this point, it has been well over 20 minutes. And by the time I had removed the foot mask, my feet was just so smooth and so soft. Like, it really did what it was supposed to do on my feet, y'all. So I would highly recommend this foot mask. So the remaining serum that's on my feet, I'm just going to further rub it into my foot so I can make sure I'm absorbing all of that goodness from the foot mask. And next, I'm going to apply my body serum. This is by the brand Topicals, and it is their exfoliating body serum. And I'm just going to apply a generous amount of this all over my legs and my body. And y'all, this is something that I just started to implement into my body care routine. And I honestly have been loving this body serum, y'all. It is a great gentle chemical exfoliant that you could apply all over the body. The same way that I would apply serums and stuff onto my face, I'm doing the same thing to my body, all right? So anyway, moving on, I'm going to apply this Milk Concentrate Body Cream, and this is also by the brand Locatan. And y'all, this cream, first off, I love the texture of this and the consistency. It has such a thick consistency to it, and it is super hydrating and super moisturizing onto the skin and i also love the smell it has like a really nice warm almond scent to it and yeah y'all overall this body cream is just so bomb And lastly, I'm gonna top everything off with my Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Body for Menza Oil. Y'all, this oil right here, oh my God, it is just the best thing ever. You guys already know how I feel about Sol de Janeiro. The Bum Bum Cream scent is just one of my favorite scents hands down. So when they came out with this body oil, they truly answered my prayers with this one. Like this body oil is just 
amazing. So that is pretty much it when it comes to my body care routine. So I'm pretty much going to repeat the same process with my upper body. So as y'all can see, I'm applying my post shaving mist first and then i'm gonna go in with my body exfoliating serum apply a good amount of that all over my arms and my chest you want to make sure that you get up in there good and also whenever i apply this body serum on my chest and my arms area specifically i do sometimes feel a slight stinging sensation it's really not that bad it's not painful but i do slightly feel it but it's because it is a chemical exfoliant but like I said it is a great exfoliant and over the past few weeks that I've been using it I've already been seeing results then after that I'm going to apply my milk concentrate body cream and of course I'm going to top everything off with my Sol de Janeiro body oil Oh, y'all, look at that glow. Oh, I know y'all see it. Oh, my skin is just looking so good. It is looking bright and radiant and glowy. And I also smell bomb. And we're not even done yet, but I promise we are almost done. So moving on, I'm just going to throw on this two-piece underwear set that I got from Shein.com. And y'all, this makes a great Skims dupe, okay? Okay. As y'all can see, this is what the underwear looks like. It is seamless and it is very stretchy and comfortable. You literally feel like you don't have nothing on when you put this on. I got mine in the size medium and also this is what the top piece look like. I got this in the color brown by the way and it is so cute and I'm definitely going to be picking up more colors in this set. So next, I'm going to apply my Donner Kron Cashmere deodorant, and I got this deodorant at Sephora. I've heard a lot of people rave about this deodorant, by the way, so I decided to pick it up and give it a try, and I really, really like this. And lastly, I'm going to apply my scents, and this is the combo that I'm going to be using today. So first starting off, I'm going to be applying my perfume oil by Nest, and this is in the scent Madagascar Vanilla. And y'all, this right here is a must-have, okay? If you want to step your fragrance game up, you need this perfume oil, all right? It just smells amazing. Now, they have different scents in this perfume oil, but I like the Madagascar vanilla one because a lot of my perfumes are vanilla based. So this just goes so well with all of my perfumes. And as y'all can see, I'm applying this everywhere. I like to apply up under my arms, my neck, my chest. I also like to apply this between my thighs, my legs, between my ankles. I literally apply this everywhere. And lastly, I'm going to apply my fragrance. And the one I'm using today is by Kiali. And this is in the scent Vanilla 28. And y'all, this vanilla perfume is just so bomb. It has a mature vanilla scent to it. And it just smells amazing and that is pretty much it y'all for my everything shower routine i really hope that you all enjoyed this and if you did please don't forget to comment share and subscribe to my channel before you guys leave thumbs up this video and as always i will see you guys in the next one bye y'all